Well, I didn't know that I was ever going to be a painter. I used to like painting, but I never thought I could do it. And then one day I did a few big ones a few years back just to try it with friends of mine. But the, the idea of me becoming a painter, I was in a coffee shop with John Robertson, one of my mentors, who was a pretty well-known painter. And I had these little doodles and drawings. That was my whole first year. And he saw something in me. He said, you know, you should do it. These are pretty good. And I started doing it. And I did them every day. And it turned into paint. And I painted on anything I could find, boxes, uh, candy boxes, medicine boxes, cereal boxes, cardboard, wood, whatever I could find in the trash, I'd clean it up. I kept going, and before you knew it, I had hundreds and then later thousands of paintings, and I kept doing bigger and different sizes. And then I started, started going on to canvases, and I just paint on anything. I like to paint on used material, and I just am excited about it. And some of the characters that come in my paintings are like friends. Uh, they come alive to me. Sometimes there's a face and sometimes there's no faces. Sometimes it feels abstract. Sometimes it feels like many people. And I just keep going and I explore colors and it gives me a lot of joy. I love music and I love writing music, but the painting gave me a level, a wordless level beyond what I could communicate in a poem. And I just loved it. And I have a passion and it's a part of my life. It, it's like a living, a lot of these characters are alive to me in the sense the colors are alive. It's a way to work out feelings, frustrations, hopes, sadness. And, and somehow I feel that if people respond to your paintings or if you paint, that you can improve your life, have a better consciousness. Art can be revolutionary. Art can touch the soul. And it can help us get through everyday life too. That's what I think.